How are you going to lift the back? Big muscles, isn't it? So what do you need to... There were cocomelons in Blackpool at the minute. Is it? Yeah. Do you want to go? I've got the lifty upper thing. So what are we doing today, Joe? Swapping the wheels around on, on the golf. Why are we doing it? Because <clears throat> it'd be funny. <laughs> no, so basically if you've got a front-wheel drive car or rear-wheel drive car, either your front or your rear tyres get worn out quicker. So it's a good idea to swap them for the, for the ones that don't drive the car. So on this golf, it's a front-wheel drive car. So basically, front wheels do all the work and they wear out much quicker compared to the back ones. So it's a good good idea to swap them around every six months or depending on your mileage. Just keep checking them with a, a 10p coin or 20p coin or you can get a tool that shows you your tread depth. And as soon as you notice that there's a, like a millimeter difference between your front and the rear, it's time to swap them around. And that's what we're going to be do, doing today. But Joey's going to do one side and I'll do the other side. And the funny thing is that you I've no idea. Well, some idea, don't you? I've, I've got a gist. I've never actually done it before, but... <laughs> so I'm going to allow you. Uh, well, if you do something stupid or something unsafe, I'll stop you straight away. I will allow you three questions. Two, show me, tell me. And I can help you for a minute. That's your that's your two options, yeah? So we're starting the timer. And go. So what's first that you need? Need all the stuff from the boot. What are you going to take out? Uh, so I got this. What's what's that called? A tire iron. Yeah, yeah. Give <laughs> you that. Broken one. <laughs> Is that all you'll need? I hope so. All right. I've got the lifty upper thing. Lifty up. You mean a jack? Got a locking nut. Do we I've know? Got... Do you know what we call that jack in uh, automotive terms? Nope. A widow maker. <laughs> Are you sure that's all you need? Okay, so what's the first now, step? Anyway. <laughs> first step is no ass crack. I think you missed the step. Which is pull off the things and then loosen it. Correct. Yeah, I know. Let's pull that to the side. Just let me cook. I don't want to scratch your rim. That's it, that's how you do it. Just wiggle it side to side. Oh, mum. Don't be shy. Is that the only wheel you need to take off? It's not for now, because I need to lift them both up first, but Wait. I'll just start with this one, I'll go to that in a sec. So, the reason why you want to do take off plastic things and loosen the bolts up on that wheel as well first, because if you put that jack underneath it and you try and push on it, the car will start to, can start to jiggle. So, because you don't have a wheel on one side, you can't put the car down. So what you're missing, you need to lift the entire both sides, you know, Front yeah, and yeah, back yeah. at the same time, so what are you missing? So what do you need? The... Do what? The triangle you potty things. <laughs> Jack stand. But yeah. also, it's a good idea to put a wheel underneath the car. In case it slips off a jack, you will land on the, on the wheel. Mm. So that's why I've asked you, is that everything you need from your boot? Spare, that's not big enough. Child, trust me, you put it underneath the car, in case it slips off a jack, so it lands ah. on the wheel. Unless you will have a bad day. Now look at that snazzy wheel. See, those were what you call rims. That's what you should have got done. Been used before as well. Yeah. So you slide underneath the car, because if your car slips off a jack, it will land on its brake discs and bend them. And then good luck picking that up because it's absolute pain. That's why you want any, somewhere underneath the car. So if it slips off, it will land on that and it will be fine. Yeah. Sit rep, we're on almost six minutes and the wheels are still on. Oh, she's on. Now is lefty loosey, righty tighty. It's not as easy as it looked, is it? Yep. Oh, look at that. There you go. I'm a mechanic now. Pretty, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, we need that ad revenue to buy some new trousers. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's not monetized yet. So do I do it where it looses for each one? Yeah, as soon as where it looses, that's it. So that's one of your questions gone, you just ask a question. Do you want to pull your back out? That's it. Yeah, I'm a good boy. 
Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. You're a big strong guy, you can do it. Just don't want to do it too much. No, it's like the cow won't fall off it if you even if you got completely loose. <clears throat> oh, keep going. Off. Yeah. So yeah. Which half of the station is completely fine. Nah. There you are. Certified mechanic. <laughs> At least they didn't over tighten the wheel locking nut. Cause that happened to me once when someone over tightened it, a garage did. Um, and I couldn't get it off and it stripped, you know, the teeth on the uh, on the key. Yeah. I had to weld the bolt onto it and then do it that way. <laughs> Boom. So what's now? So which one you're taking off first? Front. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. So I prefer to put the uh, standy thing on the back. So how are you going to put the standy thing on the back if you can't lift it? So this is the standy thing that Joe means. A regular jack stand, an axle stand, whatever you want to call it. So if you lift the front with that, yeah, the fr it's holding that up. How are you going to lift the back? Big muscles, isn't it? Okay. All right. All right. I'm not going to help you. You ask me a question. <laughs> are you a bit lost? Yeah. So what? But do I do back or front? Is that your question? Yeah. And face the camera. Do I do back or front? So you do back first because do you want the, do you want the uh, explanation why you do the back first? Because the weight's all up front. So because the back of your car is slightly taller, so it's easy to slide this in. Because you'll use your jack to pick the car up on the back, slide this in, take the jack off and move it to the front. But what are you doing with this? Sit on it. Might as well. Now do you put it like in the middle? Yeah, somewhere in the middle. Yeah. So where are you going to put the window maker? I do not have a clue. So if you don't know where to jack your car up, Google it. Or just look into your workshop, uh, in your owner's manual. Most cars, if you look on the sill, they have this notch. And this notch, you'll feel like a pinch weld on the back of it. Just there. And that pinch weld goes exactly in this gap of the jack. <laughs> Oh. Call you a big lad, you uh, can do it. Oh, yeah, I see. See it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's wrong way. We just crossed the 15 minute mark. Oh, I will stop you there for a second. See how you've got this gap underneath the back of it? There. Yeah. So that means you, you. this is how you need to do it. So do you see that's sitting exactly on the pinch weld, see how it's reinforced? Oh yeah. <laughs> and the jack is sitting flush on the ground. Now all you need to do is turn it. Uh, when do I stop? When the... Oh, that, is that a question? No. Okay. You've answered that anyway for me, so thank you very much. So what's happened here, see, uh, he went at a straight, like a funny angle. I have to keep checking that because he can tip over the car. So what you have to do, you take it back down, reset it, and just keep double checking that it's straight as possible. So you wanted to put a jack stand somewhere, didn't you? Where are you going to put it? That's it. You, if you, all you have to do is make sure the, the, it's not touching the ground. So that's what you told him off yet. Yeah. That's a going. Can you lower it? Oh, yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, it goes on. Uh, so you can do this. Yeah, yeah. So where are you going to put it? Gosh, you know. It's a bit, it's on the tray here. No. Uh, it's like a little, like a plate thing here, which I'm guessing when you go into the garage, it goes onto. 
this plate. See that rubber finger? Technically, yeah. See, hello, bro. Let me let me check that just to so make sure. Do that, boom. Like that, hello, bro. Let me check it. Just to make sure. Look at that. Yeah. Snug as a bug on the drug. So what's next? Lower that back onto it and then you just put it onto the front. Remove the tyre? Yeah. You just put because it if you put it down, that little bit of space, that is, the gap is between the jack and the body. Mm. It's totally the gap that's between here. So if you lower it down, the, the tyre will touch again. Or not, not really think you want to lift it back up again. You have, yeah, you'll have to lift it back up again. So remove that tyre, then lift up the front. Remo is that a question? <laughs> yeah, so, so no, uh, just say yes or no. Okay. So I'll, I'll take off his tyre, Yeah. then lower that back down, then I lower it, uh, lower it up it here, take that one off, yeah. put the front tyre, foot that tyre onto there, yeah. lower that down, yeah. put the jack back there, lower it, bring it back up again, put the front tyre on there, yeah. and then done. Yeah. But I would do recommend slide that one underneath somewhere in the middle. It's not a pillow. Now or? Yeah, now. Whereabouts? Somewhere in the middle is okay. So now you've removed all the bolts. The way I saw the pros do it was to hit the top of it and then... Well, this is because you're not on a proper jack. Yeah, that's the correct way. Try to wiggle it up and down. There you go. You don't have to kick it. Yeah, bro. And if you're going to put a tyre down, put it the rim facing upwards. Never leave it like this because it will tip yeah. over. Put it down this way. Now it's a good chance to inspect your suspension. You know what this is? If this breaks, that's 600 quid down. You know what that is? Is that the... Uh, that's the suspension. Dampers, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what's next, mister? I'll vent myself a seat at least. Oh, I'll a bit more. <laughs> we put these tyres on. How much tyre grease do they use? <laughs> was, that, was that recently, wasn't it? When they fixed the flat? Yeah. Look how much they use. They can't even, the only one come Let's see where I fixed the flat on it. have got uh, mechanic hands now. Yeah, that's why you wear gloves. Yeah. If you had gloves. Oh. Can't get him comfy there, lad. Yeah. Let's take your time, have a nice slide down. <laughs> this is why they're called the makers. If they slip, you know, you know what I mean? That's it. That's why you put a tie underneath it, because when you stick your head underneath it, it slips. That's mm. it, it's over. They're stood on like that. So what you do now, if you want to get a car on the jack, try and push it, see that it's not moving, and just like tapping it. It's not moving, so it's always good. So, so the same in the front now on that little bar finger again. Is it, if it's got a bar finger. That's so, not, I'm, I'm not, don't answer that question. I'm not using the question on that. Are you not using the question? Nope. Okay. I'm a pro at this. So you're playing the game where you ask a safety question uh, where I have to answer you. Uh, uh, Half an hour, one meal is off, the second one is coming off. Is that straight? Straight on last time. Good lad. This one's starting to make noise. Let's double check on this one. Yeah, it's tight. Put only tie on. Try. Oh. How the hell do you line it up? <laughs> Do you, want, do you want to use your only show me, tell me? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, go on, son. Okay. Right, I'll grab the wheel. Yeah. The way I do it, let's move out of the way. The way I do it, I usually sit down and I use my feet to like lift it up and then you can turn it. So you grab one bolt, put it in, and then you approach the wheel. But because your wheel's got quite good lip on the inside yep. what you can do you just lift it onto it 
See, it's on, and then you slowly twist it till you see a hole. Okay. <laughs> see that now? I've got a line, one aligned. Let's put that in. That's one in. Ah, gonna be a breeze now for this one. Ah. So when I'm tightening them up, do I need to do them very, very tight or just... Are you using your last question? I think it's a very last question. I forgot. I think I lost the count. Uh, you just tighten them, hand tight. So all the way hand tight. Okay. So what's next, mister? Do I lower it? You asking me or do you know? I know. I've already asked you the question, so technically you don't have to re-answer it. Just Asked and answered. <laughs> yeah. it's just repetition of the same question. Yeah. No cocomelas and black pill at a minute. Is it? Yeah. Do you want to go? Oh, shit, no. <laughs> Bruh. How many times? <laughs> do you know why that's got a handle on it? Yeah. It's usually the wrong way. <laughs> you still haven't figured out how you how mean by wrong way? Nope. So what, watch, watch, watch. If you put it, if you move this, because you were twisting like this, yeah? If you put it like this, you've got a handle on it. Can just go. <laughs> you tell me now. You didn't ask. <laughs> you didn't ask. Come on, don't be shy. Is it as look? Is as it looks? How I did it? Yeah. You <laughs> don't seem to. Be. Also, bloody heavy tire. Heavy wheel. Yeah, see, it wasn't hard, was it? Ah, uh, no matter. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> don't put your fingers around the spokes because you'll pinch them against something, and then that will hurt. No jealous, I'm that good. It's up the line straight away. Only took you three minutes. Uh, Pass us the uh, tire iron. I'm not supposed to help you if you remember, but I'm I'm being nice, so I'll help it. <laughs> Starting to rain. It's been 45 minutes. Oops, they weren't the right holes. <laughs> oh, no way out, what well, did you go into the wrong hole? Every hole's a goal. Exactly. There you go. Am I getting paid for us? It's your car. Oh. It's time to lower it. There you go, son. Drive off now. I, I wouldn't. It's tough. Uh, he said fully tight him and then put the fucking nut thing on. So, right, right, that's gonna be AIDS. Should I just do the opposite where I stand on it? I will come go over and double check everything after, but it's just. Yeah, you're best at So, you're doing it the wrong way. Because you always tighten bolts in star shape, so if you started with this one, you'd go do the opposite one. See, the next one you will go into that one, so you need to put your wheel locking nut in. The reason why we go star shape, so if we start on this bolt, we'll turn this one, then go this one, this one, this one, this one, so we can always tighten it at the right, right angle so it pulls it towards you. If you tighten this this way, it'll pull this side and it can skew the wheel. So you, you can cause some damage and weaken your bolts, and then they can break, clean off. Tell me how I know. Because you did it yourself. No. Oh. So till this day, it fucking they haven't paid me back for it. What are you struggling with, there, lad? I want to do it so I do a lock and not last. So where do you start if you want to do that last? Uh, be this one. So boom, 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 boom. Yep. 
500 pound, please. May I should be charging you for this? <laughs> Bruh. Is that maybe? I think getting done. Done. Need to clean up your mess. Bruh. So your time is 55 minutes. Now it's my turn to do the other side. So start begins now. Ugh. These are quite stuck, aren't they? Sorry about it. So you might say this is a bit cheating, but I say I'm just using all the tools that I have. Just we'll change to the lowest settings so I don't break that bolt. It's a bit tighter than that. Yeah, I'll get a breaker bar on that instead. If you don't have a rattle gun, impact driver, whatever you want to call it, you can just use a bigger breaker bar and look how easy that is. No standing, nothing. Leverage, mass. But if you have one, use it. See how easy that was. So now I loosen them up. I can jack the car up. It's all quite cheating to you that I'm using different tools. Yeah. See, that's just how it is in life. So what I'm going to do, slide it underneath the arm. Can you see the, can you see where it is? Uh. See where I'm jacking up from? Yep. So now I've got axes on the other side to put my axle stand in. It's on. <laughs> it's where you're going straight through the suspension. That'd be quite worrying if your suspension would be that weak that it couldn't handle a jack. Now I'll lower it onto the jack. Slowly. That's it. That's tight. I can take the wheel off. Screw that one all the way. Where's the socket for it? Quick check over, the fork's fine. So, now I just take the front wheel off with the gun. It saves you so much time and money, but both guns start at around two to 300 quid, plus a battery, plus impact socket. So, if you're not really into cars, I don't think there's a point in buying one if you just want to change your wheels once in a while. That's it. What time I'm on? <laughs> uh, a minute, 11 on my phone. 11 minutes on your phone, what does it say on mine? Twelve forty-five. Not bad, they're not bad. So, would you do it again with the equipment you have? Nope. Would you pay someone to do it? Nah. Maybe, no. Depends. If you had a proper jack, would you do it again? Yeah. Yeah, it's a jack, isn't it? It's a, the jack is probably the most pain, painful thing about having the regular jack. Once you've got a proper one like that, 
it's so much easier way easier If you have a torque wrench, use it. If you don't know what torque wrench is, Google it. You know what that is, Joe? Torque wrench. Yeah. What is it? That beeping noise when you go to a certain torque. Yeah, that's the more fancy ones, the digital one. I got a mic one where it just clicks, it doesn't let you go through, pass, pass it. But the good rule of thumb is, if you get a, a breaker bar, You go along breaker about this one and it's almost vertical and you start pushing it down where it's becoming not stupid difficult but as difficult as taking it off is you're pretty much there that's all you need it doesn't need to be over tightened or anything and then you need to double check in about a few days if it's loosened or not because it's quite common for both to loosen up after a while so tighten a bit more miss that one out so we'll do the locking wheel box at the end That's it. And my time was roughly 70 minutes 24. Because I started the timer when you were still reversing back. So what do you think? Does the does the equipment matter or the skill? It's a bit of both. A bit of both I think I'd, I'd have probably been slow. If I was using the uh, the tools you had, I'd probably won't be as slow, but I'd still be slower than you would be. Yeah, because with that tool, you can easily, if you don't use it properly, because ship a vault, mm. and then you've got a problem on your hands. Whereas I think if you use the tools I had, it probably took longer. Yeah, it definitely but took me longer. It'll be quicker than that. Yeah, than I was. I reckon I'll be about half an hour with those tools mm. because I'm not only as tired when using my tools. I don't have to keep swapping things over. I don't have to push on the bolts. Everything's <laughs> done for me. Especially the jack. If you're, if you're going to buy a tool, if you think of getting into cars, the first thing you should buy is a proper jack. That one cost me about sixty quid from a. Um, forgot from the top of my head, but it was only sixty quid. It works fine. It does up to 2.2 tons, so it, it's fine. So what's the conclusion, Joe? Is it as easy as it looks? Uh, I think we'll probably get roasted, roasted in the comments, but uh, for me, you've never done it before. It's not as easy as it looks, but probably the more you do it, you'll be, be fine. So you reckon if you had no advice, would you struggle a bit more? Took you longer? Probably would have uh, damaged, damage, like underneath uh, some <laughs> the, if I didn't, I'd, I'd imagine the, the jack would have most likely fell over and wouldn't have had doubt underneath it and yeah. maybe rip car. Yeah, when you, especially those pinch welds, if you break them, it, it can get really bad if you don't put the jack on properly. Or I've seen people put the, the jack on the, on the plastic sill and then just break everything. So if you don't know what you're doing and you don't want to educate yourself as much, Go and pay someone to do it. It won't cost that much. It will cost 10 to 15 quid at most, I reckon. It's just swapping the wheels about, that's it. If they have a ramp and everything, it will take them less than 10 minutes to do. But, but anything else to add to it? Bash, bash. <laughs> would you like to say like and comment? Yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, uh, like and comment. Hopefully we're doing more doey things rather than talking as well on videos. So if you enjoyed this one, let us know. Bash, bash.